Momentum Health, because one size doesn't fit all. It's early morning in the Machalisburg Mountains on a survival campout where a group of boys are learning how to make fire, find food and build shelters. With the focus on doing tasks to survive, the boys don't realise that they're also getting a great all-over workout. Come on boys, I haven't had my coffee yet. Because when they get up in the morning and there's such a big group of them, they're playing. It's this one interacting with that one, where's my spear, where's my arrow? There's always a bit of competition to see, I want to get the fire going, who's going to start the fire? And it's all different actions, maybe not running all the time, but working with your hands, going from one place to the next, getting things, collecting firewood. They're walking, they're looking everywhere to find these things. And they run, but they, they, I don't think they're aware of it, because the first night, by 10 o'clock, we're still, I have to chase them to bed. A walk to explore an old mine becomes an adventure that gets everyone climbing down a broken hill. Experiences like conquering this rough path are proven to help children build better resilience and self-reliance. We've seen in Julian quite a number of changes since we've come here. Um, he's still quite a gaming addict. He loves playing on the iPad and the Wii and so on. But coming out here, he's more adventurous. He, he's more active. When we go for a walk, when they have to climb the hill back, you still get the complaints. But I think that's kids just doing emotional blackmail on the parents. Pick me up, I'm tired. But when they're out here, they're running. They don't get tired. Oh, we've been fairly busy. Um, I th on Saturday, we took a long hike, uh, but it, there were many breaks, so it was really enjoyable. It wasn't over, we didn't overexert ourselves in any way, but it was good to be out and, and we worked up a sweat, there's no doubt. Needed a break every now and again. It was great fun. Well, basically, it's quite a long walk, so it teaches the kids to, to have a bit more endurance, because they're going to be out sort of most of the day and balance, very good for balance, because as, you, as you've seen, we've been down rocks, up mountains, across streams. Also, it does a, a lot for the kids' teamwork, because they're helping each other, have to help each other through the cave, when we went in the cave, across the bridge, always helping each other, and, and it's good. Children who exercise regularly do better in school and tend to have better coping skills. Making an activity an adventure helps keep their interest and commitment. That's awesome. Have you guys seen this one? Uh, if they're active, their bodies grow, they get their strength, um, you know, and it helps with learning as in the schools these days. Uh, there's a lot of focus on physical tone, and specific core strength, in terms of learning and the ability to pay attention in class. And when they're out here, they just they get that strength naturally. It's not uh, a trained, you know, do midline crossings, do this little exercise to get that particular muscle going. It's an all-over uh, fitness that they get. And with a bit of imagination and adaptation, there are lots of easy ways to bring the adventure and active fun of the bush to your backyard these holidays. Backyard doesn't have to be very big. Just get a few blankets outside, put a few chairs together, make a shelter, get a little place where they can make a fire, where it's safe, where they're not going to burn places down. Put your tent in your yard. Let the kids sleep in the tent. Let them make fire in the fireplace where it's safe. And then let them cook their own vores. We're taking a lot of the, the responsibility away from kids, a lot of their freedom away by not allowing them to explore things. And just around the house, like cutting a bread, making a salad with a knife, give them the responsibility. Show them how to do it safely and let them do it. If we keep on doing things and doing things for the kids, they eventually don't know how to do it themselves. A 10-year-old child who is consistently physically active for an hour a day has a 75% less likelihood of being an overweight adult. And encouraging children to do things that let them experience their own capabilities lays a foundation of self-reliance and resilience. When they leave, they're a lot more confident in themselves. They, they're happy that they've been here. They want to explore. They want to come back. They want to make things. It, it, it gets them creative that they can start building things. For them, it's like amazing. So it builds a lot of self-esteem as well. So these kids go back home very confident. Momentum Health, always moving in the right direction.